Well, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. And yes, we're back on board our magnificent A320. In today's video, let's go ahead and perform a full flight. As in, you know, start up the plane, taxi it to the runway, take it off from the runway, fly and land again. That's what a full flight is. Why did I just explain this? Anyway, in today's flight, though, we will have one significant problem, one significant th experiment going on. Let's only fly this plane on one engine yes yeah <clears throat> in today's experiment I'm gonna try to like answer a little bit of a question that I've had for a while now and that is the question whether planes like the a320 are really able to fly off only one engine see the thing is most of these new aeroplanes like this actually brand new a320 neo are certified to be able to do that you know with e top certification for example now this e top certification is only granted to planes that can fly across the atlantic ocean on two engines meaning that an e top certified plane has to be able to fly off of one engine across the ocean as well you know if one fails you know what i mean sorry i'm very bad at explaining but yeah <clears throat> anyway in, in theory this plane should be able to actually fly off of one engine let's go ahead and experiment around with that today is that really true or did the airbuses lie yeah you know that but let's just, just go ahead and jump right in right here turn on the aeroplane i mean you know this is an airbus quite easy to start off this plane even though this is the realistic add-on version of the a320 which actually has every switch work switches like uh, evac oh I think that's the evacuation horn indeed. Let's turn that off again. Great. But yeah, here we go. This is quite a simple Airbus. Let's go ahead and get the instruments aligned very quickly here as well. This shouldn't be an issue at all. Here we go. Oh, yeah. These screens are nicely coming up. Going with the nav right here. Very nice. Very Airbus. All right. And now we are ready to start up those engine. One engine. For that one, I'm, of course, going to use my little Airbus throttle pack because I, I have it, right? And here I have the switches where I can turn on the thing and uh, I'm just gonna press the right one and turn it to ignition yeah I decided to now start the right engine I hope that's fine yes you go right engine is starting up right away here we go we are alive and uh, well all right here we are our aeroplane is started up we have a few warning alerts why is that shut up there we go great that's great about planes. We can just shut away the master warnings. Let's go ahead and reverse out of fear. Let's do a little bit of a Russian style pushback to get onto the taxi line. Come on, you can do it. Release the parking brake. Work! I can already see we have a bit of reduced power, don't we? Yeah, okay, anyway, let's go and do the old Russian style slew mode here on the taxiway. I can already see this is a great start into this flight, right? Not being able to even reverse down the, okay, great, taxi line. But there we go. We are uh, right now on a bit of an operation to taxi. Let's just see how well this is going to work. Nah, I'm quite confident this will be totally fine. See, you know, flying on only one engine would actually make sense, especially fuel consumption wise. Of course, we would make a plane like this, the A320, a lot more fuel efficient this way. Here we go. And we are nicely taxing along. That uh, works nicely so far. So that's a good start. And uh, I guess for this takeoff, we'll need a long runway. So let's go ahead and do that and just take off from this here. And uh, now what's really important now is to add some right rudder, obviously, as we have got our engine running on the right. Going to be a little bit unbalanced of power, but let's just see here. Come on. Here we go. Uh, let's just try our best. I think this should practically work. I think the takeoff would be the hardest part of only using one engine because obviously the plane while being maybe designed to, to fly on one engine it's not particularly made to be taken off on one engine. I mean that's quite a stupid idea anyway because like who does that? I do that. So here we go. We are here to test that. So uh, we probably will need some flaps. We are reaching the end of the runway soon. I hope this is going to work. All right, 110 knots. I'm hoping we're going to take off quite soon. 120. <sighs> end of runways coming near of course we have half the power it makes sense so we need double the runway oh jesus christ okay well we have taken off the aeroplane and we are not very well climbing actually oh we are very much sticking around at 110 whoa no 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 Please don't crash. I put now the landing gear up. I'm trying to get some sort of stable flight. Some sort of maybe even stable climb in here. Down here, the vertical speed. While keeping up the speed. I just don't want to crash into the ocean right here, okay? But uh, you know what? 
after a bit of a while, you can reach some altitude right here. We are uh, at 120 knots and we are at 100 vertical speed. So this is fine. But of course, we are very much risking uh, ending the flight uh, sooner than we think. Anyway, because this poor little right engine, of course, has to run at full power at all times, which is uh, going to severely hurt it. All right, 130. We're keeping our speed while, you know, getting up a little bit on the vertical speed as well. Okay, good. We are flying quite safely. Now, of course, as you can see, we are banking a little bit to the left, but that can be easily fixed by a little bit of trimming. There we go. Plane flies like... I mean, it has the performance of like a Cessna 152 or uh, A330, so that's fine. No, this is uh, this is good. Okay, I very much approve of this operation. So let's maybe go and try to turn around. And I think this is where we really start to get into some issues, like with some proper maneuvers, which is, I don't know if you would classify a turn as a proper maneuver. Of course, our stall speed goes up a lot here in this ooh, little corner right here. Oh, uh, please don't crash. What is this windmill doing here? By the way, we are in Scotland, if you haven't noticed. And oh, we are losing speed. Oh, this plane is running oh no oh yeah okay see with we're using only one engine which is the right you of course have to really go well with um uh, oh my god yeah you have to use uh the rudder as well very much i'm hoping to just not stall out at this point holy moly this is fine we are fine we can already see the runway we, we are fine we can see the runway lights don't crash now oh damn what i can tell is that this flight is extremely unstable let's do this nicely here come on all right let's also get low on the flaps get everything ready here for landing meanwhile we've actually gained a little bit of speed you know by going down again you know descending for this little landing right here you know what this is actually running quite well in fact i would like to actually step off the power a little bit because we are so fast we're in fact over speeding okay i know what they mean by you can you know f just keep flying your plane until the next airport and just land let's come in for a little bit of a landing right here come on we can maybe make this even smooth you know this will be a little bit of like a crosswind runway maybe again because of the very imbalanced thrust but this is fine let's check this out come on retard oh the plane just called me a retard again how's that fine I mean, that's about a butter landing. Okay, let's maybe go ahead and, you know, appropriately also use reverse thrust. See how that works. Come on. On the right engine? I mean, wait, it actually works better than I thought. Of course, a rule of thumb is to never use reverse thrust when you only have one engine running. Because that would get you into, like, a bit of a Pegasus Air situation. But anyway, this landing was actually smooth. Look at that. That was very nice to look at. Wanna watch this again? See if we can just look at landings all day, right? Yes, a one engine kind of landing. Totally fine, totally good. Only uh, the takeoff was a bit of an issue. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Spice, Robbie, Middle Aged, Levi, Junk in the Trunk, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, Moritz, John, Kelly Chaos, Death Rider, uh, Ragings, Noah, Yes Aviation, British User, One, Saturn, Cat, Sunno, Shadow, New, New York, and Jackie Boy.